Do you guys teach about sin that you need to repent and be born again and to have a Christian religion? We teach that um, if one wants to approach God, yeah, that you can't, we can't go on sinning and, and, and approach God. So you need to repent from sin. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like even in a court, if, if it, sometimes a jury will you know, give someone a harsh pen, uh, punishment because there was no remorse. I mean, sh if I do something wrong, if I try to exploit the creation of God instead of serving God, and then I have no remorse, then obviously I, I don't really understand. And what is sin? Sin means doing something which is ultimately harmful to myself and others. Is it sin, the ego nature of man? I think that we are originally pure souls, but that we have become corrupted, and now we have to get back to our pure nature. So as a, uh, uh, a Harold Krishner, did you repent of your sins? Uh, did I repent of my sins? I realized that I uh, was living in the wrong way and that I should adopt a, a spiritual life rather than going on trying to exploit myself, my own body and trying to exploit other people's bodies. And So you were living in the wrong way by exploiting people's body? Well, I was young, you know, I was a young guy. <laughs> Um, I read that in 1972, you accepted a vow of lifelong celibacy. celibacy. Is that true? Yes. Why did you make that decision? Because in our tradition, sex is only within marriage. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And did that help you draw closer to God? I think it did help me in my spiritual right life. Right on. Um, do you believe that human beings are in a fallen state? Is that being taught as a higher Christian? Oh, yeah. Do you believe we're in a fallen state? Do you, do you have love? I, yeah, I would like to have, again, if you, if you look at like water, water can be 98% pure, 100% pure, 79% pure. It's not all or nothing. So I would say that yes, I have love, but as I advance in my own spiritual practice, I think my love becomes more and more pure. So you do have love, but not the best kind. I think I have a pretty, you know, I wouldn't give my, I'd give myself pretty good grade. Do you have anger? Do I have anger? I'd say I have some anger. You have anger? Yeah, we all do. No, do you have anger? I have some. And can you have anger and love? Yeah. How is that? Why? Is, because is, because is, there I, an, is there love and anger? Yes. There's there, love there can, and there anger? Can, not necessarily. It depends. So on, you were just yelling at me. Were you loving me? I think so. <laughs> so you can have love and anger? It depends on what one's motive is. But anger destroys. No, it anger, no, up. the Bible talks all the time about righteous anger. It depends, I mean, there, there is a kind anger of- Anger is of your father the devil. There, there, some kinds of, Jesus himself, when he went into the temple and started oh, you know, throwing go. people out. He wasn't angry. Uh, okay. Why you, is there any proof that His he was angry? Okay, from a behavioral point of view, he engaged in activities which appeared to be very angry. But he wasn't angry though. Fine, I could say I wasn't really angry. But we're talking about Jesus. We already admitted you have anger. Uh, yeah, but how much I have. It doesn't matter. Any little yeah, bit it, of no, anger no, is no, evil. No, 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 no. Actually, we all have viruses in our body. I don't body. have anger. Uh, you can have other faults. But you I don't know, have you know, anger. You know, it's just like bacteria. Everyone has bacteria in their body, but beneath a certain level, you're not going to get sick. And so even if someone is not perfect, they may have an amount, let's say, of anger, which still does not prevent them from doing good things and, and, and having a good life. But so how, so how, I, I don't... I don't what you're saying is you're serving to God. No, you're I'm not. To, no, 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 I'm not. You're serving the God of anger. No, 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 no. you're serving no, the God no, of love. No, that, you can't that, serve that, that is but not... But you are a, saying that. No, I'm not. But you say you have anger and I'm not you have love. serving anger. I didn't come here today. I came here today to serve God. I'm talking to you to serve God. But now you have, but you. I'm not you serving. What, is it, what does it mean to serve someone? To be a righteous man representing your creator. To serve. Who is for, for, love no, no, no. All I, the time. I, I, I think you're, you're wildly exaggerating what's going on here. I mean, to serve someone. I'm not serving anger. I'm not dedicating my life to serving anger. But you are serving. When it comes, 
It destroys. You see, this idea, and in that moment, th th you're th th this idea that you're either absolutely perfect or you're absolutely bad, I think is madness. Why is that? Why? Because I think it's not the real world. It's just like, for example, you know, you may make a rolling stop when you're driving through L.A. at a stop sign, but it's not that therefore you're taken to jail and executed. I, I, I mean, there are degrees. Degrees are significant. But what does that have to do with being a good person or a bad person? I think, I, I think, that, I think that the fact that someone at some time in their life may get a little angry doesn't mean... Well, then you're better than everyone. So, so right. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You can't serve two gods. So if you have anger, I think, you, you know, you know, you know, I, 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 I could, not, I, I could, you know, to, just to be very honest with you, because you're honest with me, I could make, based on this short conversation, I could make a list of certain behavior traits in you, which I might not consider to be admirable. Like who, for example? I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, get into that. No, tell me. Love me enough to tell me. Okay. I don't think you're a good listener. You don't? No, not at all. Why not? Because you don't listen. Because I say something and then you misrepresent it. And no, then I say it again. No, because I would ask you a question and you would go all around the That's, that's your opinion. I, I, th I, think, I, th I think there's a certain kind of respect we can show people where we allow them to explain but things in their own way. But you're not respecting me by how, not how, asking questions. Okay, so look. I mean, frankly, based on this conversation, do I think you're morally superior? No, I don't. You don't? No. Now you're judging me. No. You just say that I'm this and that, and now... I'm and, just saying what you said about yourself. You know, um, <laughs> Let me I, ask I, you. anyway, my consolation here is I, I think that a lot of people that watch this show in the future will understand what's really going on here. So you can say this and that and the other thing to me, and if I say one thing to you, then I'm judging you, and I'm this, and I'm that, and, 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 and how dare I say that you're not morally superior. I didn't say how dare you say that. I don't mind you saying that.